Hey everyone, middle of the year check-in here. Last year I promised that I will create a few YouTube channels and post content in all of them. Actually, I overburdened myself quite intentionally that I ended up creating more channels that I originally intended and added a couple of more even after. Which is all good. To be honest, all those channels together, I have ended up adding 11 videos already, 12 including this one. So, hi, um, 12 including this one. So, had I made the challenge just to create one YouTube channel and post monthly videos, then I already have succeeded. However, I have more than half a year ahead of me, um, which is good. I can try and do some course correction. Speaking of course correction, things have been shaping up quite fast in last couple of months, which is not surprising at all. This is exactly how I had predicted it to be. This is what exponential growth looks like. 10 years ago, back in 2013, when we were conceptualizing um, applet, we were working on realizing three base principles. First one was unifying communications. Second one was making software autonomous. And third one was human machine interfacing. And I did not think that some or most of them would be realized before 2025, but I was pretty positive that those things will happen before 2030, right? So I was pretty positive that the unified communication was something that was necessary for us to get to the next level of productivity because that's one of the huge barrier from human to human that we can feel, perceive right at this moment. The second one, I didn't really call it autonomous software. I called it something more on the line of software that can heal itself, self-correcting software, etc. But the thematically, it stands. And uh, that was the next stage of empowering further growth. The last couple of months, both of these things functionally has come true. The first one is with ChatGPT. If you look into it closely, prompt engineering is nothing other than speaking a language that is unified in nature across the globe. So that has already happened. Secondly, with all these autonomous agent, the baby AGI and uh, auto GPT, um, line chain based tools, etc. That entire ecosystem is what making the autonomous software a reality and uh, democratizing the system, which is all good. And if my predictions are correct, then by the end of this year, we will also get the human machine interface in one way or the other. Maybe Neuralink gets every approval or some of their competitors do. In either of the cases, it's not far off where the baseline for humans to jump off the board and reach a new height would not really be a moonshot, a far off goal, but quite a reality. And you would actually fall behind if you don't try to get there as soon as possible. Now, with all that said, going back to the topic of the YouTube channels and posting videos and course correcting. So as I see it, the goal that I tried to achieve of me being fluent in front of camera, that has already happened. I'm pretty much shooting this in one shot, one take. I couldn't have imagined that to have happened six months back. 
um, I will probably add some some of my blooper reels from the first video the one video before this particular one on this channel so that you understand how many takes it took to get any of the coherent part right however now I don't have the challenge anymore so as long as personal development goes I take that as a massive win however I am going to tune out some of the noise from the signal and focus on the things that I think matters more or I find more enthusiastic to work on. Um, so on that note, one of the things that I'm finding very interesting to do is working on the anthropic inertia. My other hand got tired holding the camera. But anyways, breaker space is also something that I enjoy very much. I'm also gonna continue to do that. However, I'm not gonna stick to any schedule because I'm not really trying to break into YouTube or anything in that regard. Uh, what I am more interested about is making things, making products that I use myself. And in which case, it doesn't really matter exactly when do I post it or if I care about the algorithm, etc. or not. I don't really. So I'm gonna try to make better content, but more infrequently. It does not necessarily mean it's gonna take me longer to post videos. I might post more videos, but whatever I post, they would not adhere to any certain notion of it has to be this long, it has to have this kind of cuts, it has to have this kind of start, etc., etc. I'm gonna throw all those garbage out of the window and just make the content the way I would want to rewatch it. That's pretty much it. On the other hand, Void would be a channel where I would start posting more content. As I said before already, there will be very raw contents, very unedited raw stream of thoughts. Now that I am kind of comfortable speaking to camera and continue to hold my thoughts and put things into words, I think it's about time I start posting content into that one. I'm not asking anybody to go and watch that one because to be real, most people would not find that channel enjoyable. So figure that out for yourself. However, Mirror is a channel that I'm probably not gonna post as many videos on a regular basis. I might, however, start posting some interviews or chats that I have with my friends and cut them out, edit them out and post it there. I'll try to delegate some of those editing workflows because that's the part that is taking up so much time that I kind of get bogged down into doing the grunt work and not be able to do the things that actually motivates me to keep the channels up. So from that perspective, I really need to delegate the editing video side of things to somebody else. There's another new channel that I've created that's Aryamation. It's wrong to say I have created. It was my daughter's idea with his, her name and the name was given by her. Long story short, most of the channels would continue to work the way they were meant to be working, but there might be some schedule changes and or change of expectations. That's pretty much about it. Take care. See you in the next one. This isn't perfect, but it doesn't have to be. I'm just practicing learning I'm just practicing speaking in front of camera. This isn't perfect, but it doesn't have to be. I'm just practicing, I'm just practicing talking to the camera and uh, this isn't perfect, but it doesn't have to be. I'm just practicing speaking in front of camera and uh, three, two, one, start. This isn't perfect, but it doesn't have to be. 
I'm just practicing speaking in front of camera and uh, making some point here and there and hopefully publish that to the web. This isn't perfect, but it doesn't have to be. I'm basically speaking in front of camera, practicing speaking in front of camera, which is not that easy to do actually. This isn't perfect. And it doesn't have to be. This is my practice run to speak in front of camera and try to make some point and then share it, share it with the world. This isn't perfect. And it doesn't have to be. This is a way for me to practice speaking in front of camera and getting used to it. Trying to make some points and perhaps share it with the world.